Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how a, a tutorial on how to make a donation board in your Roblox game. First of all, we're gonna need this donation board by Atlas. Dot dot dot. The link will be in the description. So I just have to get this. And then make sure you all go to the settings. And then security. Allow a HTTP request and enable studio access for API services. And then you want to click. It's been a while since I did this, but I, yeah, I remember. So I'm gonna show you it. So you wanna. Oh wait, sorry about that bug. Okay, so you want to go to the products. But first you want to read this if you don't know how to do it. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, just read this and you'll understand. But for now we're going to go to projects. I mean products. Open it. From here you're going to want to, you want to go to here. You... You want to start, you want to check your, uh, you want to check your pa passes, okay. I mean your localization, I think, localization, oh wait, oh they changed it, monetization, so you want to create a developer product, They're annoying. Okay. Hello, guys. So today we're I'm gonna show you how to put on a donation board in your Roblox game. First one, you're gonna need this Atlas donation board a link will be in the description here and then you wanna go to you wanna make sh wait I, I actually did something so you wanna go to your donation board click on it you see products read these it's really if you're a noob at this it's really important to read these and uh, these are for if you didn't understand me and then you want to go to products open so you're gonna so you see there's a product 5 product ID <clears throat> so what it's saying is you want to go to here click game settings so make sure Allow HTTP request is on and allow enable studio access to AIP I service is on. It's just uh, and then you want to you want to go to uh, monetization. So you want to if you want to, you, I'm just gonna enable the private paid private service so you want to click on create developer item let's just name it uh, have a good day for example no let's just name it test how about that you want it in a you can now this is where you can type any in price five if you if you, if you want five you can type in five so what we want to do is uh, go to did it save test uh, copy id to clipboard and now uh, leave here you want to go back to products you wanna delete this 
take this numbers out and click uh, with your Windows button and then V and then there should be this you want to do the same for all of them you want to go back to here you want to go back to monetizations and you want to create a lot more oh hey guys so I got all of my products you just wanted a copy ID and now I'm gonna click here you might want to do this oh I got the wrong thing fifth okay so you know what it's okay it's okay Fifteen. You wanna type three. The third. That's gonna be a thousand. Okay, now we're gonna want to go to here. Click play. Let's just test it out for now. If it's not working, I think I'll have a solution. Yes, so it works in my actual game. So I'm gonna stop this. We're gonna want.